Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, today's video, we got uh, some Nilfgaard Ball Lock. If you're sick of running into that uh, uh, alumni shenanigans where they're bumped up to like 35 points, they can't do it if every one of the students and are locked up. So, uh, something I came up with uh, before we get into the uh, deck guide though uh, today's video is sponsored by uh, into the am um, they've sponsored a couple videos um, we love them a lot we uh, we rep their gear proudly uh, they uh, they put out quality clothing um, I'm wearing right now the I like the olive green like and I don't know look it's got that like army color to it I really like that um, but they got um, as of today, um, they're starting their Black Friday sale. Uh, it starts from today through November 26th. You can get 30 to 80% off the entire site. And then uh, on Cyber Monday, which is from November 27th through December 5th, they're doing uh, 40 to 90% off of the entire site. So. Um, big sale coming you can uh, get some of your Christmas shopping done um, I'm gonna drop some hints to my girlfriend there's some shirts on there I'd really like to get so um, I'm gonna drop a couple hints to her Michelle if you're watching I, I want this one <laughs> uh, but uh, they just have really nice clothing man um, feels good I feel comfortable in it I uh, I rep it proudly wherever I go man um, I'm just uh, very grateful that they uh, sponsored the video today. Um, thank you guys once again. You guys are wonderful. And uh, definitely check out the site. Link's going to be in the description. And then always, too, there's going to be my um, promo code Devil's Deal. Um, plug that in as well. It helps me out. Thank you guys so much. All right. Let's get into the deck guide. Uh, so, you know, it is a ball friend. We still got Ramon. Uh, Vincent for Defender because we don't have Invo. I made another version with Invo later on and it, I took out the Letho Ox combo, but it's something different. It's also something annoying. It's also something that people don't see. Um, a lot of times with Gwent, you're just going to see the same decks over and over again. And if you're playing something different that people don't see, it catches them off guard because they don't know the lines. They got to get around the lines, they don't know what you're playing when they're playing against you know the alumni deck or you know traps or whatever they they know okay i need to bleed traps okay i need to eliminate the students before they get the four you know um so it thins pretty well it still has the blight maker and uh, the vlads um mage assassins fur carts in here as well for dead man's tongue coup two experimental remedies to steal the students or I mean in Skellige if you go up against them they always have good targets um, right now the card is just really versatile so I'm happy to put it in my list um, we got uh, targets for Ramon our uh, cavalry and then tortoise I doubled up on cavalry if you want to you can drop down to a tortoise and maybe bump this up to the tourney joust to something else if you want um, proactivity um, sometimes can be an issue if you want to you could switch out the tactical advantage for the lamp gin um, to possibly like boost something up or if you don't want the tourney joust you can go into a um, what's it called uh, imperial diplomacy to maybe uh, get something that's proactive so it is kind of a red coin abuse deck but um, you know there are things you can play and uh, it also has Roderick in here too to Try to double up on fine and ball along with Joaquin. Um, the list ends really well. It uh, as long as you, you know, don't brick the mage assassins or you know, and there's a decent amount of aristocrats. You don't want to go full ham on them because if they do have heat wave, then you just got a bunch of these little guys that don't do a whole lot. So um, there's really only uh, Vincent, um, two hunters, and a thirsty dame. So. Uh, a couple games, uh, blooper at the end, I was super sad about this one, I was crushing this guy, um, and the game crashed, I was like, 
<laughs> I was so sad. I was a card up. I think I was two cards up, and I lost. It was uh, very sad, but a couple games. Thank you guys so much for everything, all the kind words. Flake uh, with the video of uh, my his favorite is first person. That's a huge honor, so I appreciate you, Flake. Thank you so much. Um, I'll see you guys at the end. Hilda Six with a possible Agalus friend. Definitely got a bleed. Oof. So this is a pretty bad hand. This is a brick. Well, not really. I mean, I still think I get rid of this, though. That's rough. This isn't doing anything for... Well, I mean, it does the three damage. But I guess we're playing the... The Ramon this round. Thankfully, he doesn't have the answer for it, which is nice. The veil. So he's going to play the dryad. Dry. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. And then we can actually steal it. Ah. I mean, he knows we already have that, right? So this hits for three, and I can lock. Rebuke. So now I'm actually up here, correct? Because of the shuffle? Next, I can play the Letho. Ah, I see. Are you fucking kidding me? Cat instead of crowns? It's hitting armor. I mean, I can kill it next turn. I'm not worried about it. And then I can grab it up with another remedy. Okay, but that doesn't do anything. I could actually pass here and he could end up down a card, but we're not going to do that. Beast or man makes a difference to me. So now I get that, which is cool. He has a couple armor units though too, but it goes into thing mode, doesn't it? This turn, force protector. We grab up this. And I... Is it worth it to lock? I mean, I guess. So he rebukes that. Alright, let's see what we get here. Bonhart would be nice. Um, I guess we can play the Joaquin. Uh, we go bleed. Ball's gonna be kind of well. I mean, we still have two more aristocrats. This should get us out, though. I would imagine he has defender too, though. Berengar. So if I kill this, 
this dies. I think we just take it. And if he plays his last card, then I think it's a win. He needs... I mean, we still have some good stuff. We do need two aristocrats, though. So he, we get the even. Nice. And he's got to be running... What's it called? So it's not... Agalus. <coughs> Excuse me. That's an okay pull. We still need aristocrats, though. That's not an aristocrat. Maybe we ditch this since we don't have any more spies. Let's see what we get. I think we can get something out of them. Okay. Pray not ignorant. Remember to whom you speak. I think it's a free bleed. All right, so he gets one out of it. What's this? Illusions. You yet to see what they can accomplish. And if he wants to use the purify on it, we're happy. Okay. We go here. Thin a little bit. We hit the only armor. Okay. I mean, granted, that's carryover, but. Yeah, I work for the queen. Okay. So we have one leader ability, but I mean, his stuff is reliant on. Do we? Yeah. His stuff, coup. Okay. I guess we drop the ball. I mean, it's not terrible. This is going to kill a Witcher. We have two two locks. Possible answer. We could also coup whatever he... I think we lock first. Depends on what it is, I guess. Quen into... That's fine. So we lock this one. So the next one is... What's his name? Gezris? Yeah, okay. I mean, no point in showing you this. <laughs> we don't coup it, right? Because he's just going to kill it. It hits just straight. Yeah, he'll just kill it. Seems okay. So we got an 11. The coup might actually be something okay, but... He's got two shields up, too, which kind of hurts. So we don't get the two points. Damn it. Ah. So that's our coup. Right? Uh, 
So he uses that to... Does he go for the... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because it doesn't hit it, so he doesn't really have to. <laughs> so he's got... So he kills a three and he gets six... Well, he's got a lot of points. I guess it depends on if it hits the... He goes with that. Okay. So we need it to hit. No good wine will come from here. Not even come. Not really, but <laughs> <laughs> the Bren. Oh, okay. This is the matchup we're looking for here. One piece. Fight for it. So let me see my combo. I don't see it. Drop this. That's good. Um, these are okay. That hurts. That hurts. Not having the lock for this really sucks. Um, what do I go try to go for here? I need answer. He's our answer for defender. Fards. So we just double lock. It's fine. Hmm. He does not. Surprise. So he's going to TA the back row one. I can't let him just keep popping off twos on me. I mean, I have this to contest, which is okay. If he has Siege, that'll hurt a lot. We gotta play this first. So he's just gonna mulligan it away, huh? Ha! <laughs> That's fine. So we don't have to worry about it this turn, then. We'll just go here. Then a little bit. What are bad pulls? We got Vincent, Menno. This just hits for one. That's pretty sad. And it's in the graveyard, so it gets kind of awkward for him. So he's going to do it again. Um, it doesn't seem very good. So we go here. Play Dead Man's Tongue. That's huge. Um, currently, the graveyard hate isn't a big deal, so we'll just kick these two. That's huge. I can coo that now. These are going to be massive, though. We drew a card. I just don't think we want a long round versus this guy. And I have options. That's fine. He's still not there, but I'm not scared of this.
Do I want to go here? I think I just want ball. I could have went coup there though. We still have options. He has no carryover whatsoever. He needs 12 points. He knows I have another one of these. So he goes down a card. I think we take it. I have to draw a ball, but... He doesn't get this to four. I think we did our job. We still have locks. He used this. This is gone. I guess he gets carryover, but I mean, like, it doesn't matter. He's not going to bleed me. So he's down a card. I got all the locks in the world. I could steal his one carryover play. Um, and I think we drop this. Okay. Does he really bleed me two cards down? I think it's. So if I have Roderick and Koo, really, salt into what? So he wants to, oh, Defender. So now I have to find, oh, do I have Koo in hand? I sure do. I guess I could have grabbed this first, but that was dumb. Renew what? Rafard's Vengeance? Wow. That's interesting. So he does it again. I th think I'll still be okay. So he's carryover too? I'm really confused on how this is all going to play out. I really, really need to find Vincent here. Um, so I go here. Here. Well, I guess I'm playing this. <laughs> So we're going to get in. So he banishes Koo. So we get that. Go here. We kill a seven. So we lock this. Okay. So we're still up a card. We had to spend ball. We still have a bunch of locks. And we just grab up this first, right? The damage three guy. He 
he used renew. Renew's good. Okay. Okay. I think this is the hand. Uh, if I draw thing, he's dead though. Okay. This is fine. Um, so we just do this? So we can go for sure Menno into carryover. Ah. Melee damage 3. So he just uses it. Okay. Um, that's fine. So we go here, grab up Menno. Menno's good. Get this. Damage an enemy unit by three. I guess we grab up this, right? He's got to pull this back or reset it. Doesn't kill it. We have damage, damage. This kills this for sure. Casting contest. So he doesn't use it. So let's just lock it. We'll let this chill. See if it's a mistake. He has no more charges. Okay. That doesn't have anything. We ain't even worried about this. I mean, but we just still... We should still do what we do, right? We lock it. Serret should kill whatever else he pulls. <laughs> no chance, man. Locks greater than orders, always. Always. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. Short one, sorry. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you for everything. I'll see you guys next time. I guess we play around the... Oh, did my game just shut off? Oh, what the fuck? Oh.